Project Pokemon. Hey, what's up, what's up, guys? Bluebeard Gamer here, and welcome back to another episode of Project Pokemon. Hang on a second, there we go. I'm just gonna fix that. So I have something to say. I have spent probably about an hour training up my Pokemon, and look, nothing. What well, basically what happened was the first time I got. I went back over, and I was training, I got all my guys leveled up, like these guys got to level 8, he got to level 10, I got a Pidgey, he was pretty high, and I caught a shiny Budu. And I was so excited that I caught a shiny. I was so excited that I was going off onto another, I was putting out to a different Roblox server to, to like, train him up, and I forgot to save, so I lost all my progress. So I played through again, I found a Pikachu up in the rare patch of grass up there, I found a Pikachu, got him to level 8, he learned a bunch of cool moves, I caught another... Um, Pidgey, and I got, did all sorts of leveling up, I, um, I just, I was just about to start recording, and I, obviously, as you saw, I forgot to save again. So, that's probably what I'm going to be titling it, Remember to Save, because that's a very important life model, kids. Always remember to save your game, okay? You don't want to be like me. So, where we last left off, we explored Viridian City, and what, what we have to do now is we have to go back to Professor Oak's lab and deliver this parcel we have. I wonder if that's on me. No, it's not shown on me, but, um, just want, real quick, yeah, I have nine, po oh, I have nine great balls, and I got off last time. Dang, I'm just gonna look at my Pokedex real quick. Yeah, I had, like, so much stuff. I was so excited to show you guys all the Pokemon I caught, and both times, I forgot to save my game. Yeah, one of my friends from school, actually, she was playing Pokemon, and what happened on her, on her uh, Game Boy, because it was, like, one of the older things. And she kept she kept forgetting to save, so she would have to play through like the first half hour over and over again. And it was really sad that she had to do that, but at the same time it was a little bit funny. But okay, so um I don't know what to do now. My pants are green, I just noticed that. They're the exact same color as the grass. Alright, so let's walk to Professor Oak's lab. Sorry, I'm just trying to uh my sir my uh, client's starting to back up a bit. Real quick, I'm just going to walk through here a bit, see if I can find a Pikachu. Because I am devastated that I lost all that progress. Twice. What's this? I caught a Rattata, you say? And let's just turn it up a bit for you. Alright, no, I don't want to fight him right now. I'm only here for a Pikachu, sir. And, considering my Bulbasaur is the first one up, I'm just going to fight this guy. Because I have a, uh... Super big advantage, I'm pretty sure, to this guy. Yeah, I do. It's a sand shrew. So I have a big elemental type advantage. So I'm just gonna take him out and get some good experience points. Like, I was so excited. I had a good spread. I had some more flying guys. I had an electric guy. I was all hyped up to play. And then... I didn't say. Yeah, I'm gonna be repeating that, like, the whole game now. Like, the whole... Alright, so, oh, by the way, guys, I meant to say, my episodes are going to be a lot longer now, because I figured out the problem with my, um, my client, so now, all my episodes can be as long as I want, pretty much, so I'm, from now on, I think I'm going to be doing half-hour episodes, so I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, there we go, level them up a bit. Yeah, you lost the battle, son. Alright. And also, I'm going to keep my, I'm going to keep, uh, my Spiro out there. Just so he can get a bit more leveled up. Um, I'm gonna walk in a, I'm gonna walk in a little bit of a circle in this grass because I'm I'm sorry I really want to find a Pikachu now. I was so excited I had found him. The shiny Bud I was really excited about because I wanted to try to catch everyone here, and then I realized I didn't actually have to catch the um I didn't have to catch the Budu because it turns out he's just a grass poison like my uh. Like my Bulbasaur, so if I had picked a different starter, I would have a use for him. But unfortunately, I don't. I picked Bulbasaur, because Bulbasaur is awesome, obviously. All the grass starters are just. Oh, come on, I wanted to catch you. Just telling you guys, today's not my day. I recorded an episode earlier, episode 3. I'm pretty sure that was the one where I. Yeah, I, I explored Viridian City, that was that one. Looking for a Pikachu. Yeah, there's a 5% chance. I, I had that 5% chance. No, I don't anymore. So I'm depressed. I, I'm trying to catch a Pidgey just because... I like his, um... I like his playthrough. Spearow, 
It was pretty nice. He starts with a flying move, but Pidgey has things like sand attack and stuff, and I like that accuracy lowering. So, actually, you know what? I don't need to, I don't need to catch you guys. I don't need to catch you, Pidgey. I'll just stick with my Spearow. Another thing, I don't really like how Fearow looks, like when he evolves into Fearow. I don't really like how he looks. On the other hand, I love Pidgeot. Like, he just looks amazing. But, alright, I've won the battle. I'm gonna just run straight through the grass. And I'm gonna run straight on the path now, because I've pretty much given up hope. Uh, yeah, I didn't get him. I may be able to find him on, on the way. If I can find him on the way back, that'd be hope. I hope, yeah. No, sorry, I'm stuttering. I, it's I'm just I'm a bit shocked after losing all my progress over and over again. You should have heard my reaction. Like I was just about to start hitting the record, and I went into the new game. And I was just like, oh no, I didn't save again. And I just I was so like freaked out. So. Oh dang, son. Yeah, he hits pretty hard. Alright, let's get Ratatouss some experience. Spear will level up after this battle, which is nice. Alright, folks, Ratatouss used Tail Whip. I really could care less, sir, because I'm going to do that. Smack. Get out of here. Alright, so Spearow got some of that experience. Level 8, my Spearow. Awesome. Oh my gosh, this trading request thing is so annoying. Now, I was playing on my own without my recording software, because I have to make this box smaller in order to fit my recording software. But, and I realized while I was playing that as long, if the box is big like it's normal size, then that actually doesn't get in the way. But when I have my box small like this, this gets just in the way of my stats and stuff. That makes things so annoying. Oh, dang it, I forgot. Uh, I can't retreat now. Let's just, uh, let's just send out Ratatat. I was gonna try to keep put Ratatat in front first, so I wouldn't have to use an extra turn to switch like that. But, whoops, I forgot. Tackle. Oh, oh, that's, that's very nice. That's very nice damage there. Just gonna hit you. <sighs> Come on, please. I wanna get to Professor Oak. Let's see, that just randomly shows up again. I really want to be able to get rid of that. I do not like that at all. Youngster Danny sent out Pidgey. What should Rathacad do? I, I think he needs a good old tackle. Oh, I can, I can win this fight. I can win this fight, guys. Have some of that. Get on, son. Alright, there we go. So, okay, yeah, so, how long has this episode been? Wow, we're already almost up to 10 minutes on this episode. This stuff goes way faster when, when I think about it. Like, I'll just look at my time and I'll be like, wow, we're already out of time. And I feel like we just started. But that's not the point of this episode. And my point, the point of this episode is to deliver the parcel. And maybe, to, and, and I think I said in the uh, description of the third episode that I was going to try to beat the gym today, which I hope I can with all my heart. Let's see, hang on, let me check. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Actually, let's, uh, put you there. Hey, uh, hey, Professor Oak, I have your parcel. Professor Oak, Professor Oak. Thanks for delivering my parcel. I used to give Pokedexes out to people, but they're as common as cell phones nowadays. I know, you can have these Pokeballs. <sighs> You'll be on Route 22? What about the gym, buddy? What about the gym? Remember to fill up your Pokedex. Yeah, I know, I know. It's a little Pokedex job, and I like doing the collecting, but... I don't really want to right now. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna, I wanna get a Pikachu and a Budu. That really upset me that I lost both of them. What the heck, I'll fight a level 3. I need the experience. What should grab the tattoo? I think you should use that. I would use quick attack, but this just does more damage. And I still go first anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's do another tackle, and that, sh it that should take him out unless I miss. Alright, he's down. Take some of that. 
25 experience. I won the battle. Got three dollars for winning. What I like in this game is it just gives you money for all your battles. So it gives you money in this for beating um, wild Pokemon, which you're obviously not supposed to do because they don't carry around wallets with money. But it's, it's just nice for building up a little bit of cash at a time. A Caterpie, I want a Caterpie so bad. Butterfree is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Come on, I need critical. I'm pretty sure this guy right now does not have a single attack. He's just using, um... And I'm pretty sure he's just using String Shadow, because that's all he's had. Because that's all he has. Sorry. Alright, that's enough to put me into level 8. Let's just... I want to do this real quick so I can see all my full stats. Alright, so my attack and speed get a pretty good boost. That's nice, because my speed is through the roof. I need to work on my uh, defense though. It's starting to slag. It's starting to fall back a bit. It's about to use Weedle. I have fought this trainer. What I hate is that whenever you go onto a new Roblox server, obviously, like all the stuff resets, so you get to keep your stuff if you say like the save profile or whatever. But what I don't like is that you have to fight all these trainers over again. It's really good for XP if you have the time. But once you fight them like 20 times and you're much higher the level than they are. They're just like an obstacle, and you have to be like, oh, I have to fight these guys again. All right, but Cutcher Joey lost the battle. That's right, sir, you lost the battle. All right, now let's just. I'm about to walk into the grass, guys. Walking through the grass, grass, walking through the grass. Nothing happened. Hello, sir. Can I have a word with you, please? I want to borrow some money. Oh, wait, I already fought you. Never mind, I was going to try to fight him. That was going to be my, my, my lame excuse to start a fight with him. I need to borrow some money. Hey! No, I just wanted to borrow some money! Or so I say. Alright. Right, level 4 Recta. Yeah, this should not be a challenge. Four levels and below me. Have a tackle. These guys are still are four levels below me, but they still do so much damage to me, I don't understand. When I played on my DS, like, I played Black 2, and, like, when I got to the later gyms, like, I had the right element guys where I could go through a gym and I'd be, I could be ten levels lower than all the other guys, like, than all, like, the trainers in the gym and stuff, and I could one-shot everybody just because, like, for the water gym at the end of Black 2, I had Mampharos, and he was, like, probably... Pretty sure they were all around um, level 50 when you fought in there. My guy, was, my my Amparos was like a level 40 something, or like level 41 I think he was, and he would just one shot everybody. It's just you have to have the right type. That's the key. Doesn't no matter what, no matter how high level they are, a du double damage is double damage. All right, he's down. 49 experience points. Let's see, this pops up every time I get experience points. Either that or it pops up every time someone leaves or joins, which I'm guessing it's that one. Come on. I've seen Budu in this grass, so I'm just really trying to find a Budu again, because I love Budu. A level 2 Vecta. Uh, no. Bye. You're not your waste of my time, sir. Alright, um... Loop back up here. I think I'm gonna take on the gym today. I delivered the parcel. He said meet me at room. He said to meet him at room uh, uh, route 22. But why would I do that? I don't want to do that. I want to beat the gym, get a badge, you know, all that good stuff. I already fought you too. Looks like, turns out I fought all these guys and I didn't even know it. All right, I'm fine with not having a Pidgey. I'm fine with not having a Budu, but I really want to get a Pikachu. Watch as I just spend the whole episode trying to catch a Pikachu. Pikachu. And I finally get to the Viridian City Gym. Oh my gosh, first one! Thank you, Jesus. Oh my goodness. Jesus has blessed me today, guys. He has seen me lose two save profiles. And he has said, Okay, here, here's Pikachu. Alright. Oh, I hope this works. It's a great ball, so it should. It's only level 5. It's one shake. Two shakes. No! You piece of trash. No. 
Lowering my tech, I don't like you. Well, I got two shakes, so... Oh yeah, I have Pokeballs now. I'm just gonna use those instead. I don't wanna use up the Great Balls, those were 500 bucks a pop. This one seems to be working better somehow? Like, this is the third shake. Oh, I... Yes! I got him! Alright. That is awesome. I got a Pikachu, guys. I kind of want... Now I'm going to stay in this grass and level him up a bit. I mean, he is a Pikachu. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to level this dude up. A level... A wild grass attack. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Thundershock. Level 2, I should... Yeah, I do a ton of damage. I'm not going to spend too much time training him up. I think maybe just a couple minutes. Because I want to get him at a, at a reasonable level. I don't want to have him at a level 5 and then I try to fight the gym there like level 11. This guy, I'm pretty sure there's a flying gym in this game. Because it looks like it's based off of um, the original game of Can the Kanto region. I don't think that there's... um, Because I've heard there's Dark Ride in this game and stuff like that. So it's not necessarily the um, Pokemon there. But it just looks like Professor Oak, the starters, the city name, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, this is gonna one-shot him. Get out of here, boy. Get on my level! Pikachu's this tall, you're only this tall. Good grief. Alright. 15. I'll train him up to, uh... I don't know. I need to find, like, a level 5 Pidgey, because then I'll get a lot more experience for just, like, using one attack, pretty much. Hmm... Although I finally figured out half the reason my computer was so slow, it's because I have to close all my profiles all, and like all the things that I have running, so that I can do this based without with minimal lag. Like I've clo I closed everything but my Roblox and my recording software. But I always had Skype running because I got Skype Skype installed recently, which is by the way, well actually I'm not gonna advertise, never mind. But like I couldn't figure out a way to close it, so I'd have it running during my recording. And that would result in it slowing down, because it was running. So I finally figured out a way to get out of it. So now it seems to be running a, bunch, a lot better. I guess I'm just a bit more attentive of it after my first and third episodes, because in my third one I think I had a bit of lag as well. But I just, I just seem to be a bit more aware of how my encoding is doing. There we go. I'm finding a ton of Pidgeys. This is great. I don't have to do any work at all. I just one-shot everybody. I'll train him to level 6, because Route 22 is probably going to have like some similar level stuff. Pikachu's gained 22 experience points. If I can get him to level 8, I figured out at, lump, at level 8 he learns um, Thunder Wave? Because right now all he, learns is, all he knows is Thunder Shock and Growl, I think. So, hang on, let's, check, let's actually check out Pikachu. He's got, oh, that's good, he's got high attack. So so things like, if he ever learns things like Iron Tail, that'd be bumped up. His special defense is a little bit low, I am bummed out about that. But the last Pikachu I caught, the one I got to level 8, I liked because he had high special attack. So things like Thundershock would rock the house. So yeah, I think he's gonna, he's gonna learn, um, Tail Whip, I'm pretty sure, and then he's gonna learn Thunder Wave at level 8. Which, I'm really hoping to get towards. Because then he'll actually be a potential threat in battle, especially to any flying types. Because my Bulbasaur is weak to that stuff, especially. But he's my best dude, so I need sort of like a backup. For now, I think Pikachu's going to be my sort of second-in-command. Even though he's my most recently caught Pokemon, I just, you know, one of those people, like, certain Pokemon will just click with me. I really wish that instead of a Pikachu, though, there would have been a Flaffy, because Ampharos is, like, pretty much one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Like, let's say my top three would be, uh... Pansage, Ampharos, and Turtwig. I know there was another Pokemon I'd said it was one of my favorites. And now I actually can't remember what it is, so maybe it's not one of my favorites after all. I'm pretty sure Pansage is probably not in this game. And, um... But Flaffy, though, I really hope he is. Because he was only a uh, Generation 2, if I remember correctly. A yeah, Generation 2. I have the card thing, so I can s so I can see, like, sort of the general order. But, yeah, okay, so ouch. Um, alright, this is gonna get him to level 6, and then I'm gonna... Well, we've already, I've already used up two-thirds of my epi of this episode. So while I said I was going to, um, do a lot of... Ooh, that's nice. I got, got a ton of health and attack there. And you learn Tail Whip. See? Level 6, Tail Whip. 
All right, I've won the battle. All right, so I I'm probably not gonna be able to get to the gym this episode because I want to do a bit more training before I go to the gym. Because I only have four Pokemon, and there's not really much variety here. Because Pidgey's a normal flying, but he's a grass poison. I have pretty good variety right now. I have electric, normal flying, normal grass poison. So that's pretty much as best varieties I can get right now. Uh oh. There we go. Sorry. I was talk. I was just blabbing on. I didn't notice that this was messing up. What's the high encoding for? I shut down everything. Oh well. Even with the best of software, there can be problems. Yeah, like I think I um talked about in the comments of episode one. I am planning on upgrading to a desktop soon, and that should fix all my lab my lag problems. Cause this is a uh, hand-me-down laptop laptop I'm playing on, and it's like five or six years old. My word, this is ridiculous. It was working so well in the beginning, and now it's like having a breakdown. I think I'm just gonna wait here and let it calm down a bit, because it's at we're at 21 minutes. I think I can afford to uh, waste a couple minutes. We've done a lot this episode. Actually, not really. We delivered the parcel. And we picked up Pikachu. That's pretty much it. Um, well, I'm kind of trying to wait for high encoding to turn off. Because I don't need this high encoding. It's messing me up. Oh, it's actually frozen right now, and I'm not even doing anything. Well, that's nice to know. I just... Okay, it's going to be really laggy real quick, but I'm just going to run to the Pokemon Center. Actually, when I'm not talking, it's uh, much better, actually, the uh, thing. So if I'm not... Ta if talk talking while walking is really bad for this... So I kind of maybe need to do one at a time. Which is bad because I'd have to stop every five seconds because I talk so much. Uh, and I, Hey guys, oh by the way, I wanted to talk about debate battles. Since obviously I have had zero views on all of my videos except the intro video for my channel. Which is just because I watched it several times just to make sure it was working. This was my first video I've ever uploaded. I like that music. And um... So, hang on, I was, th I, I was just thinking about something, I forgot it, sorry. Um, oh yeah, it was the first time I ever uploaded the video, so I watched it a few times to try and make sure it was, you know, it was okay. So I wasn't really focused on, like, so we, ha so we have no views, so what I'm contemplating is I'm pretty sure that I'm just gonna have, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do any more debate battles until I start getting more views and there's actually people watching my videos. So, he said Route 22, right? This is... You know, is this Route 2 or Route 22? This is Route 22, so he should be here. Gosh. Sorry for those voice cracks. I was not expecting that. Um. Um. Alright, so I can go that way and fight a trainer. Or I can try to walk on this grass. I can do the trainer on the way back. I want to do some grass for now. Get some wild Pokemon involved in this. Oh, a Nidoran! Female, that's perfect! They're like a, um... Pretty sure when they get fully evolved, they're a uh, fighting ground or something. Pretty sure ground fighting, which means this may not do anything. Oh, that's perfect! Oh my gosh! I thought you said. Now that I'm thinking about it, he actually starts off as poison and not um not ground. He turns to poison ground. I'm pretty sure. So Nido Nido Queen would be pretty cool, actually. I'd prefer a Nido King, but Nidoran female is okay. Nido Queen would be good. Just just for like the Actually wait, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure they're they're poison something. Poison fighting or something like that. So I have tons of Oh, um <laughs> I have a, I have a really bad feeling that I'm gonna have to fight him. Have you been have you been training your Pokemon? I Oh great, I knew it. He wants to battle. A level 9 Pidgey. I don't think... Well, actually, what I need to do... I need to get my Pikachu. Go Pikachu. Use Sand Attack. Alright. If I can get off a Thunder Shock, I can do some major damage to him. Please work. Yes! Look at that damage. He's three levels above me. This could be great for XP. And he missed! Wow, he was the one that used the uh, sand attack. Why did he miss? Fail, dude. Just total fail. Um. Alright. 
Well, that... Yes! I knocked him out! Okay, Pikachu, you have served your role in this fight. Dude, good job! Bulbasaur grew to level 11. Now I'm just gonna get my stats real quick. 2-2-2-1-2-2. Two, 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 one, two, two. Oh my gosh, he's got 34 health now. Pikachu gained 49 experience points. That's great. Trinagari's about to use Squirtle. I thought you chose Charmander, dude. Oh wait, Squirtle is still a water type. He's level 13 though. Holy smokes. Um, water gun. I'm sorry, Pikachu. I tried. Bulbasaur is going to be great in this fight. Come on, Bulbasaur. What you need to do, man? You just need to uh, vine whip him. Just whip him. Bubble. It's not very effective, son. Alright, vine whip. Oh, snap. Critical hit. Super effective. He did not like that. I'm gonna use an absorb, I think, just so I can get the little... What little health is left here? This should work. It's super effective, you know. There we go. Super effective. He faint. Get his energy drained. Oh, nice! It completely restored my health. All right, and I gained 88 experience points. Beep. Wow. Yeah. So once you start getting this high, you start getting like a hunt beginner's luck. As if I'm surprised someone like you can get so lucky. Oh, whatever, fool. That's rude. Um. Hello there, officer. I'm sorry, but the road ahead is difficult. I can only let you pass if you have all eight badges. So why did he tell me to come to Route 22? He told me to come to Route 22, right? Pretty sure he, I'm pretty sure he told me to come to Route 22. That is, um, that's really weird. Oh, Minky! Yes, 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 yes! Bulbasaur, oh. No, that will like one shot if we do that. Use Rapita. Because fighting is good against flying is good against fighting, as far as I know. So I don't want to one shot him. I wanna try to get him. Use Leer. My defense fell. Ooh, if I can get a Mankey, I'll have great all around boost. Let's just use the tackle. Please don't knock him out. That's good, that's good. I'm happy with that. We just need to, uh, he's gonna be pretty resistant, probably, so let's just throw a Pokeball and see how it works. That's one. Two. Oh, nice, I got him! Alright, guys, I got a full team. Let's check out my party now. Alright, so, two new guys I caught, I wanna check out their stats. Yeah, he's poison, that's what I thought. Which kinda of stinks, because I already have a grass poison. So he's got high defense and low special defense. I like that high defense though. He may be able to be a bit more of a tank. Um, let's see what moves he has. Scratch and growl, all right. Mankey, high spe high special attack. That's really bad actually, because for fighting you want high attack, because he does all sorts of things like punching attacks. So I think I found a pretty bad Mankey in this case. But you know I could probably fight some guys and get his attack leveled out a bit. All right. Um. So that's pretty nice. I got, um, got a couple minutes. I think I'll start walking. Let's fight this trainer, actually. Let's, um, who needs some levels? Let's put Mankey up here. Yeah, that looks good. This guy, we'll see, we'll have to see what this guy has. Ooh, after this battle, I'm probably gonna have to get off, guys. This has been the longest episode I've made yet. Fighting Pokemon. Alright, so you got a uh, fighting Pokemon there, level 7 Mankey. Um, why, why, am I, why do they look like different colors? Maybe it's because they're different gender? I don't know. I've never understood that. Uh, fighting is good against normal, so I can't use either of them. Like I planned on doing. Go Bulbasaur. Does Mankey use Scratch? Actually, he doesn't have any fighting moves yet. What the heck am I talking about? Flying's good against fighting. Oh, now that I'm thinking about that, bring in Spiro. He has a uh, pecking move. Just pecks him on the head. And he goes crazy. He said, yeah, he's doing a ton of damage to me, though. I'm not liking that. I like that, though. That was nice. 
Pokemon. Let's get let's get rapid cast some XP here. Sorry, I couldn't resist. I'm a big fan of this. Oh yeah, my timer's up, so let's just squeeze in a quick attack. It should knock him out. All right, stop my timer because that's getting annoying. Angie only got 27 experience. They all, what? He was what? Make it in level up, that was the whole point of doing that. Alright, $750 for winning, that's much better. Alright guys, this is where I'm signing off, I think. That was a pretty long video, 30 minutes. Um, I'm going to try to do a little bit of training offline. So try to get my guys red relatively even leveled. And next episode, we are going to take on the Viridian City Gym. So... I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and this is Gamer... Blah, sorry. Bah, bah, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Alright, this is, this is Blueberry Gamer signing off.